Yo, good morning guys. We're gonna be working again on the MX-5 today, but before we get into that, I need to have some grub. What a fucking civilized breakfast. Well, I am slumped. That breakfast was absolutely banging. But yeah, anyway guys, what we're gonna be doing in today's episode of V2 Mia is we're gonna be cracking on with the rear end. And what that's gonna entail is doing a bumper cut. Now, I've wanted to do this for quite a while on my MX-5, but I just haven't had the time or got around to doing it. But it's a really beneficial mod for a couple of reasons, which I'm gonna explain now. First one, for aerodynamics, the rear bumper almost acts like a parachute. It kind of curves around and it traps air. That's because the airflow comes in and it gets trapped behind that bumper, which of course is gonna create drag. So cutting out the bumper is gonna reduce drag on your MX-5. And secondly, it looks cool as fuck. It allows you to expose more of the exhaust, which is gonna look wicked. And we're also gonna be adding a slightly meatier exhaust setup on the MX-5 in the coming future. So yeah, the bumper cut's gonna look epic. But without no further ado, let's crack into the video and start doing this bumper cut on Mia, my MX-5. So guys, if we have a look at the rear bumper, you can see exactly what I mean. It goes down and then this curves back around, which is gonna obviously create drag. Hashtag Forever Rally, we've got the sticker still on because I think it looks epic. But yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut. We're gonna follow this line around, cut up to this line here, all the way across, and then back down under this side which is gonna allow our jaw exhaust to sit nicer because as you can see, this one sits lower than the one on that side. So yeah, we're gonna be able to raise that up and it's gonna sit perfectly, which is gonna look sick. We're also gonna to have to delete this light because yeah, it's there and there's nothing really we can do about that. We're gonna take that out. And I don't really like that light anyway because from factory, as you can see, it doesn't even come centered, which is a little nitpick of mine on the rear end of the car. So yeah, I'm gonna go into the garage, grab some tape and mark out where we're gonna be cutting and then go ahead and cut this with a dread mill. So now, as you can see, we've completely cut that bit out. I'm not gonna take the tape off right now because now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to completely remove the bumper. Because as you can see behind the bumper, we've got a bumper spot, this plastic thing, and that looks a bit crap where it is. We're also gonna have to remove that line. I'm basically knitting up all under here so it's a nice flush cut back to the chassis. And then we'll reveal the true look of our bumper cut, but coming along pretty nicely. You can see this, all of these little plastic bits all the way along here. That will all be neatened up afterwards. They just literally, as you can see, pick off. But yeah, we'll go around that with a file and that will neaten it all up nicely. Now, I don't think we're gonna need this anymore. So actually, we might keep it as part of the MX-5 and bash it on the wall, because I'm weird. Yeah, we'll put that on. So I was about to chuck it in the bin, Mighty Car Mod style, but I think we might keep it. So lads, now the bumper has been cut, we're gonna have to remove the bumper like I was saying before. As you can see whilst cutting, I've got plastic stuck to me absolutely everywhere. And that is the benefit of wearing goggles because I had loads of bits straight to the goggles which could have gone in your eye. And hot melted plastic on your eyeball and not the best combination for sure. But anyway lads, we're gonna go ahead and remove the rear bumper now. Now there's a few different ways to do this. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna remove the rear bumper along with the support, and then we can take the support off actually out of the car because that will save us removing the lights and the rear number plate panel or rear finish panel, whatever you wanna call it. So what we'll do is we'll go remove that. Now that's gonna basically be, well what I'll do, I'll flip the camera and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So you can't see under here very well, but there's basically a bolt right here a bolt right here connecting it to the fender and then we've got one more which is somewhere around here isn't it there's one right there oh right there 
So we've got three bolts on each fender, or on each like side of the wheels. Um, exact same on the other side. And then if we look under the car, this is a bloody nightmare to film, but we've got one bolt here. Oh, what's wrong with my lighting? One up there, and then two more on each side of that. So we've got four on each side, four there and four over there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and whip out all those bolts now and we'll catch up when the bumper is off the MX-5. Right, so as you can see, oh, if I can pull this out. Oh yeah, why is it not coming out like that? There we go. So this side's loose, the other side's completely loose. Now the bolts under there are being an absolute bastard because they're rusty as shit. That's on most bolts when you do any job on the MX-5. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove both rear tail lights four 10 mil bolts on each side. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove this tr trim panel. So we've got these little bolts here. We've got our number plate ones, one there, one there. And then if we have a look behind the carpet, I don't know if you can see, but there's basically little black clips which you need to push in with pliers and pop out on these sides. And then this will basically pull out nice and simple. Anyway, I was thinking whilst this was out, maybe it might be worth getting one of the like, UNOS spec ones with the square number plates. I think they look a lot cooler. Well, I'm definitely getting one of those. I just wanted to ask your guys' opinion. Should it be black or should it be red? I'm thinking black, just because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray anything left that's red under here, like the bits of the chassis black, just so it kind of blends in and it looks like you can't see the red, it looks a lot more broken up. I mean, as you guys know, we're going for a red and black colour scheme. So we're going to have a big black wing. Um, and yeah, we're just going for little black trims everywhere. So let me know whether you think that bit should be black or red in the comment section down below. But we're going for a Unos spec and I'm going to order that very shortly. So to remove this bump up, if we've got loads of these little Phillips head screws all the way across here, which we've now got access to. So we're going to go ahead and undo all of those now. removed and now we've got full access to the support bar which is right oh wanker and yeah now we've got full access to this support we can take off our light and we can modify this so it's bang on exactly where we want it so to remove this it's as simple as we've got one two three four they look like 14 no 12 maybe 12 14 mils and then we've got one there and one there on the bottom. So let's go ahead and remove all those. And we'll catch up when this is out in the garage. Once again, as with any job on an MX-5, we've run into another issue. So yeah, we've got one bolt here, one bolt right there, and one bolt the exact same place on the other side, which basically just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning and won't come out. So yeah, I'm not too sure exactly what we're gonna do yet. I think we're just gonna try to cut this on the car but literally just slice it to an angle grinder and hope for the best that that works so we're going to give that a go now because that one's an absolute bitch yeah that one's a bitch so yeah let's go ahead and try slice this again with our safety goggles Support is finally off and chopped. So yeah guys, I've still got my safety goggles on. Oh, we're gonna grab this bumper, go inside the garage and neaten it up nicely before putting everything back together onto the MX-5. So taking a look at the back, 
underneath the bump you're still going to see some of this so we're going to be modifying this slightly so you can't see it eventually we are going to put a ba uh, bash bar here probably going to go for the dave fab one because that's got a rear jacking point and it's really nice but what we're going to do for the time being as you can see is we've cut it flash along here and up along the sides i've already done this side just like that and then we're going to go ahead and do the exact same on this side and then we're going to give these bits a lick of paint so if you do see anything it's just going to be black and it's not going to look all messy and tacky so what i'll do is i'm going to go repeat that exact same on this side Right, so we've given that three coats of paint. I didn't bother with a primer and I'm not bothering with a clear coat because that's just a temporary thing till we get the bash bar and then we'll redo the whole rear end of that section. That's just for the time being so the bumper cut looks as clean as possible. But anyway guys, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be neatening up the bumper before reinstalling everything back onto the MX-5. So yeah, we're going to plot up in the garage, I'll flip the camera around and we'll basically neaten this up. What that's going to entail is we're going to be removing all of the tape from there and neatening it up with a file to make it nice and clean and then yeah, I'll show you the finished product once we're done. Right lads, so the rear bump has been neated up as much as I can be bothered to do now. If it needs to be neated up anymore, we'll do it when it's completely back on the car. So you know what it's time for now? To reinstall it back onto Mia, the MX-5. But before we do that, I'm gonna go inside and put some grub in the oven because I am absolutely starving. So yeah, what we'll do, we'll catch up once that's back in the oven when we're around the back of Mia, reinstalling everything back on to the MX-5. Right, so I'm back after a quick break. The grub's in the oven and it'll be ready in about 40 minutes. So we're gonna try and pop this all back together before it's lunch o'clock. As you could see in those clips, the bump cut is complete and it looks absolutely epic. And I look absolutely filthy. <laughs> there are a couple of things left to do, so we do need to actually clean up that rear bumper because there's loads of residue and little bits of tape which have marked the bumper, so we're gonna have to clean that off to make it nice and clean. But yeah, really pleased with how it's turned out and I'm gonna do that another day because I'm shooting off to the cinema now and I'll need to scrub up and have a wash because as you can see, I've got black marks all over me and yeah I feel absolutely disgusting but yeah guys I'm super stoked with how that's turned out we're going to be putting on a wham diffuser on the back of there in the coming future so that's going to make it fit nicely it's going to ensure we don't ruin the diffuser as much because we're going to allow it to sit slightly higher and yeah I'm super stoked with how it looks but yeah guys like I said I'm going to leave the video there massive thanks for watching smash the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video and as always guys if you're new here don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell so you are automatically updated whenever I upload and yeah until the next one adios